Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games, and welcome back to part 6 of my British Empire playthrough. So I was taking a little bit of time and looking around the world in between parts here, uh, because I, I, I wanted to be sure, I was thinking, okay, where exactly do I have uh, all of my land? And it is really scattered all over the place. Of course, I have these West African holdings, uh, but I do have a little bit of land here in South America as well. Um, there's these islands, the Windward Islands down here, as well as the... Uh, the Leeward Islands, basically these, these islands that I'm splitting with the United States, or not the United States, with the French. So I want to have somebody out here. Uh, we've got Belize in this area. So basically, um, I want to start moving some divisions of mine around and getting them into positions around the world so that I can call on them anytime I need them. Uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. So like, you know, have some in Jamaica if I... Uh, you know, want to do an invasion of Cuba because they've got all that delicious chromium available, things like that. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna be doing that, uh, doing some movements here. Let's take let's check out. Okay, Canada doesn't have a whole lot left. Infantry template one. Is this the South African ones? Okay, wait. Let's let's rename this. Oops. There we go. So uh, national focuses, uh, as far as that goes, we can now fund the ITO, but I think I was looking at something and I'm trying to remember what it was, but there was something that was only gonna take seven days that I was interested in when I was looking at the, the tree. Or was that the Imperial Burdens last time? You know what I think it was? London Naval Conference, hmm. Anyway, uh, so I would like to start kind of going in the direction a little bit of uh, demanding the Alaskan territories, righting the wrongs, you know, finding out if this is going to put me into a war with the United States. But I really got to get that Imperial Scientific Council. Um, I've got the manpower, I've got the industry, and now I need the, um, wait a second. Now I need the research. I need to always be up to speed with the most modern of equipments. Uh, we're going to go with the salt here. Uh, infiltration is kind of okay because I know that I'm gonna be there are gonna be times gonna be in low low infrastructure areas here so that's where the infiltration assault comes in handy so that's pretty good land night attack is nice as well uh, and a little bit of more reconnaissance is cool but right here the the assault concentration and assault breakthrough and central planning those are all just way too good for me to pass up so we're gonna be going in that direction uh, let's also get working a little bit more on our industry. Okay, decisions. I've got a lot of them here. Uh, there was something I was interested in. Okay, I don't think I'm ever going to take these, so let's just deselect all of them. Uh, economic affairs. These are all dumb. They're way too expensive. And let's go ahead and transfer this land to South Africa so that they now have more manpower that I can call upon. Speaking of which, let's queue some of these up. Oh, I'm actually running out of infantry equipment, it looks like. All right, that's fine. Uh, now up here, we have our Canucks. All right, we've got that available to us. Let's uh, swing back over here. And we're gonna also get some airplanes in position. Just a few. I'm sure that the Indians don't have too much in the way of... Wait, where is it? Colony forces. There we go. In the way of uh, an air force. So I'm not too worried about all that. Uh, we need to decide what to do with you guys. Let's put you here. Whoops. So these are my requested Australian forces. Uh, where's the emu divisions? They're still on their way. As are the marines. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, I've already got, I've already got that taken care of. I've got some people patrolling this area, getting ready for a naval invasion of uh, Travancore. All right, what's next? We need some steel from Canada. Thank you very much. All right, still a lot more to be done as well up here. Okay, we're gonna let's build some more military factories there, and then I want to get more steel from you. Okay. Launch political reforms. Oh yes, anytime that pops up, I want that. Okay, uh, next up, 
we're going to want to do the Travancore attack. Now, they are a member of a Princely Pact, so once I go to war with them, it's going to pull in a few of these other guys here. There's Rajasthan, Hyderabad, and Bihar. Now, the good news is that none of these have very many on their own. Um, heavy Tank Template. All right, yeah, we just sort of have that coming up. Uh, let's take a look at the British Raj as well. Okay, we got some 20 widths here that have everything that I would like. That's probably going to be the best one. Although this could be good because I might just do pure infantry with them. Hmm. I think they're only going to get smaller in this direction. Yeah, they're, they're just... Was this Indian division? No. Okay, so we're going to copy infantry template 4. And let's rename this the jeweled wait, the jewel division because they are the jewel of the empire is there a little diamond or something or some sort of something I can use here no no uh okay until I think of something better we're gonna use the little knight because we will ride them to world conquest or at least pretty darn close to World Conquest. Uh, the Indians, that is. So, well, we've got the Jewel Divisions set up. And the lack of infantry equipment is certainly becoming a problem here. Alright, check this out. Uh, we have a few of these. No, let's wait until these are all queued up. We're a little bit short on the infantry equipment. I want to make sure... Okay, yeah, we need, we need to fill this up. We need to get a full 15 uh, set up there. Now, I don't think anything else, I actually am feeling pretty confident that nothing else is going to happen in South Africa. So wait, that's the home army. Here we go, South Africa divisions. So let's take at least these three, the ones that uh, I've made, and bring them over to Belize. Um, actually, we'll take all of the infantry. We'll leave only behind these garrison, these district divisions. And we're going to bring everybody else here to the... Uh, to the west. Let's put some of you in Jamaica too. Okay, great. Keep them separate down here in Cape Town. All right, it's a big empire. There's a whole lot of land I gotta co get covered. Uh, so these guys are ready for to execute their plan. It looks like. Let's get a little bit more out here. These ones are going to be more permanently stationed, not following the colony forces, because I know my colony forces are split up as well. I've got almost a million manpower, but now the problem I'm having is equipment. In fact, are we maxed out on these artillery? No. Then let's do that. There we go. We instantly doubled what's being produced. Sort of. You know, if you don't account for um, the... What's it called? Oh goodness, sorry, someone writing their crotch rocket up my uh, street. Uh, Alright, we got 100 command power. Anybody need a uh, promotion or something? Okay. So much to cover. So much to cover. Eric Blair, The Tides of Revolution. I'm pretty sure I read this somewhere else. Did I? Uh, anyway. We'll, we'll just read it. This is another fun alternate history. Actually, wait. Uh, you know, there's so many fun things that I want to do uh, that uh, I know it's going to take me a couple of minutes to read this whole thing. But basically, this Tides of Revolution talks about a world where um, the United States doesn't enter the Great War. The Russia and uh, Germany end up in a pact together. Uh, the British Empire barely manages to uh, stay democratic along with the Austrian Empire. They become a federation of equals with all the, the people within their empire. France goes communist. Um, and so then there's like a, a I think a three-way war that happens between these three major factions. So the British, the French, and the Germans attacking each other. Uh, and it's written by Eric Blair, a.k.a. George Orwell. So that's all that is. You guys can pause it and read it if you like. Uh, just uh, There's other things I want to do right now. I know that uh, I'm reading quite a bit of the lore, so I probably should slow down on all that. 
Uh, let's start with the working on the medium tanks because uh, I want to get researching in that direction soon. At least for the uh, the armor time. I do like the increased hardness and reliability right here from the Vickers Armstrong. So yeah, let's go for that. I probably won't grab the industry one until the next go around, but let's also declare this war and get started. Alright, we're just going to take this and kind of hold the coast at first. Alright, Hyderabad has been called in. Let's go. Let's call you into the war. Alright, so because of this pact, we should be able to take quite a bit of India. Now, we don't actually have access right now to the uh, the central part of the pact, Hyderabad and, uh, what is this, Rajasthan? Who's actually the leader? It must be Hyderabad. Yeah, so Hyderabad is the leader, but you know we can attack either Provisional India or Orase as soon as we uh, we have it available. Okay, cool. This is perfect. Now the the um, Australasian forces have arrived. We're gonna bring them right here and give them a less awful color. Just I don't know something like that. All right, cool. So now we will use our decision to get the Annex War Goal, which I actually could use anytime I want. I don't have to use it right away. Uh, but it looks like they've only got between 6 and 10 divisions, so why not, right? Okay, and we're done now with the Imperial Scientific Com Council. Let's look into seizing the Panama Canal. Speaking of the Panama Canal, because I want to seize this early on in the war with the United States so that they can't move their navy back and forth, although I'm pretty sure mine's going to be stronger anyway. Speaking of my navy, let's uh, let's start moving some of them into the Caribbean Sea. Okay, we got another fleet out here. Let's get you patrolling out there, and we'll even bring over the Gibraltar fleet to help take care of all this. All right, they have not arrived yet, the African forces, but they are on their way. Construction, don't mind if I do. Okay. This guy's just hanging out here, not doing much. Um, and we're going to go ahead and declare this war as well. If we can hold India, there is nothing, there is virtually nothing that can stop us. The great and glorious British capital, uh, empire. Alright, Bihar has now capitulated as well. Uh, Let's get you here on this border with Prov Provisional India. Have they joined the pact? No. Uh, okay, but we don't have any sort of goal on them right now. So on second thought, let's concentrate to the south. Something like this. Okay. Now, we, uh, we did take the coastline down here. Good. See how much of it we can gain. Join war's request. Absolutely, British Raj. You can help as much as you want. Return of the Raj. Now, how much are they already up to? They're already up to 300,000. They're only on uh, limited conscription. All right, who's ready to go? Uh, we've got four South African forces that are almost done up here. Jewel Division. First one's nearly done. Have uh, the African divisions arrived yet? Almost all of them. As for the Canucks, you're from the Great White North, so let's color you accordingly. And where's the Northern Command? Yeah, the Apples. Cool. Now, you guys, we want down here. See, we're in a good key position to take um, the these victory points from the Americans. Do that number? No. No, no, that's bad. All right, we're just going to draw a line right through here, I think. Something like this. All right, you guys are going to take Alaska when the time comes. And 
Who else is unassigned? We got a few down here. All right, let's just put them in there. Uh, we still have 20 more divisions. Wait, was that the right one? No, 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 no. Here. Okay, cool. So let's take out these weak divisions first. Still need to take out four more. You, 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 you. There, that worked out nicely. All right. Something like this. Okay, got it. All right, they're up here in Alaska. All right, so you know, there's a lot of organization I need to do. It's a lot of a uh, lot to cover. All right, so that's Alaska. This is Rust Belt. Rust Belt is there over here. Uh, the Great White Front, or the it's the Great White North, so it's like the Great Wide Front. The great, the great wide north. Goodness, what? What is with my typing issues? All right, and over here is the main army, the northern command. All right, so all of you, I want under a new field marshal. Who are we gonna pick here? There was somebody who had a promotion uh, reduction cost. Ah. Oh. Old Bonte himself, old Monty himself. All right, let's uh, let's grab him. Let's make him perhaps organization first. No, an unyielding defender. That's a unique trait that only he would have access to. Uh, sure, let's do that. Okay, now as for the men who will be under his command, uh, let's let's put Richie over here because there are some motorized. Uh, you know, let him get his feet wet a little with that. Uh, we got Harold. Let's just assign them whoever it's not too big a deal all right so yeah like i was saying i've got plenty of manpower so does my empire the biggest problem right now is equipment all right let's come on down here recent arm sale thank you very much got some more unassigned divisions here these three let's keep them down here with richard o'connor uh what kind of decisions are available here to me all right i guess they'll let me know if something pops up all right, the Travancore front is looking good. Try not to get too stretched out. I don't think I need the excavation right now. That could wait. Uh, we're getting pretty close to maybe going for atomics. Oh, <laughs> I haven't upgraded my artillery. How foolish am I? All right, let's do this. Looks like the Dominion of Newfoundland is helping out a little bit. All right, here we go. The Panama trade, the Panama Canal, has connected the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans since 1914, making a flow of trade across the world much smoother and efficient. Uh, therefore, the canal is absolutely vital in maintaining our control over the seas, with the United States still suffering greatly from the Depression. We have the perfect opportunity to take control over it. There are two ways of gaining control over the canal. We can either take advantage of the relatively small garrison stationed at the Panama Canal and prepare to land a contingent of Royal Marines on the canal with orders to dislodge any American soldiers they find. Alternatively, we could also approach them with an offer to buy the canal, thus keeping us in good stead with the rest of the world, but costing us an enormous amount of money. We could seize the canal, that would cost me 100 political power, manpower, and some 5,000 units. So wait, oh, is this going to like spawn somebody here? Or we could offer to buy it. I'm afraid that I can't afford to uh, spend that much political power right now. Uh, certainly not the infantry equipment, because that would put me into the negatives, and I've already got a little bit of an issue with it. So we're going to offer to buy it. You know, we've been dealing with a horrendous economy for a while here now, so uh, I think we'll be okay. That only takes seven days. Let's reinforce our Canadian frontier. We gotta get a war with the United States before uh, Mexico is done with them. Oh, they've accepted the offer. Our proposal for the purchase of the Pan Panama Canal was agreed upon this morning by the British representative in Washington and the United States Secretary of State. In the coming days, the Panama Canal will officially exchange hands and the flow of money to the U.S. in return for the canal will begin in earnest. But it caused me 100 political power. I thought it was gonna be like... <sighs> I thought that something like that meant, oh, you know more consumer good factories for half a year or something that sucks all right well anyway let's get a couple of you um out here 
that's so annoying. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we can't complain too much. Uh, now the Second World War, it seems, has begun. Germany and France have gone to war. He must have landed Alsace-Lorraine. The Second Great War. After several months of tense diplomatic standoffs and hostile relations between the French Republic and the German Empire, war has finally broken out between the two nations. Viewed by many as unavoidable following the peace treaty that dismembered Germany and the subsequent rise of the Volkes, it came as a surprise nonetheless when the news was broadcast over radio live in several countries. Despite the official declaration of war being sent only a few days previously, fighting has already been significant in the areas bordering France and Germany. Whatever this war brings, the fate of Europe will be decided, and this alone may be enough to drag in another country with an interest in redefining the status quo. The fate of Europe hangs in the balance. All right, uh, outdated stuff. The sooner we trade it up, the sooner we can get our efficiency cap back. All right, now, I think it's finally time, yes, it is, to go for the Edward and get that bonus. So, dang, that really sucks that... Uh, we're in the hole like that. Alright, but uh, we're clearing this area out slowly but surely. We could also take the reconquer Delhi uh, decision. They've only got 10. Uh, I like those odds. So let's delete the order here. Get you up on this front. Whoa, 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 what happened here? We lost, uh, kind of lost a little contact. I just thought, don't I border Mysore, or am I taking, oh, I'm taking this for the British Raj, that's, that's the problem. Alright, some of our dockyards are now getting built, so we've got the super heavies getting worked on, the light cruisers as well. Um... Let us now set up some carriers. Okay, I've only got carrier ones right now. It's not much. Whoops. That's what I wanted, but it's something. Also, do I have the carrier planes in production? Uh, close air support, carrier naval bombers, carrier fighters. All right, so I do at least have that. Let's see how this is going. Uh, France has made a landing in the United Republic, so that might be enough to, uh, I mean the United Provinces, that might be enough to get a quick early advantage for them. Union of Britain has won its civil war. All right, so we've got Panama. We're fortifying Canada. Um, let's actually get some more naval dockyards queued up as well. Yeah, we're gonna turn Scotland into a huge naval base. Uh, we're actually running a deficit on infantry equipment right now, but we have a surplus, so it's no big deal. Um, Trenvacor capitulated, and a new auto speed record has been created. During uh, Mr. John Cobb has once again set a new land speed record in Bonneville today. Driving the piston engine, wheel-driven Railton Special, he broke the land speed record at a speed of 367.91 miles per hour, having defeated the previous record of 357.5 miles per hour. I cannot imagine what it feels like to go that fast. You know, I've seen interviews of people, people who do like land speed records in cars, and one of the interesting things I find is that um, you'll have people who drive cars that go like over 200 miles an hour, and they talk about how once you reach that kind of speed, you have to be careful not to open the door when you're even even when you're still going like 50 because you were going so fast you think that you've stopped even though you're still going like 50 60 80 miles an hour i just think that's so interesting uh anyway uh so we can now reconquer mysore let's get the delhi and mysore ones what is this the second great war the so-called war to end all wars has been over for only two decades, and already Europe is in flames once more. It falls to us in this moment and no other to decide our position in this new great war. Um, so, prerequisites. France must be at war with Germany. I have to be at peace with both. One of the following must be true. I'm isolated, or France is owned by by Germany. Okay, so this is probably something where I decide whose side I want to come in on. I'm in no hurry at all to do that. In fact, I'll tell you guys right now, I'm probably not going to enter the war until I'm done with the India unification. Um, 
besides, I'm going to be going into a war with the United States here pretty soon. Probably not this episode uh, at, th at this rate, but maybe. Maybe it will happen. All right, to hell with Monroe. The Monroe Doctrine is a ridiculous assertion and one the Americans cannot possibly in impose on other nations. We will not limit our reach across the globe just because a former colony tells us not to. All right, so let's knock that out real quick. The United States isn't going to like me very much here in a minute. Okay, what else is ready to deploy? Ah, the first Jewel Division is ready. Um, let's see how many more we can queue up. Just a few. All right. Another good thing about this war is it's getting me lots of... Uh, army experience. Well, not lots. Uh, it's, a, it's a decent amount. All right. Washington warns Westminster. This morning, the American ambassador in London... Uh, let's get that... The American ambassador in London issued a note to our government stating that our planned extension of diplomatic influence in the Americas is unacceptable, arguing that our government has nefarious interests and plans to once more bring imperialism to the Americas. They have stated that this new policy would not go unanswered. While we did expect a response from the Americans in this matter, it is notable that this is nothing but a basic warning rather than threat of armed conflict over our policies. It is possible the Americans are trying to save face with this maneuver and... Oh man, really? That cost me 50 political power? Whatever. All right, let's demand the territories. I'm so glad that they have a decision for the Indian tree. Or like, can you imagine if I had to take a focus for every single one of these or justify manually? I'd be here forever. All right, um, let's get you on this front. Um, we're gonna train you up a little bit though. They're still green, so let's work on that. Um, all right, we're having some problem with the actual Hyderabad forces. Uh, I wonder if it would be a bad idea to actually extend this front in this manner. All right, we might be able to get a cutoff here. Yeah, coming down to the south like this. All right. We no longer get the effects of the arms payments. All right, yeah, so once once the col colonial troops here have trained up a little bit more, then we will, uh, we're gonna go for the attack. Uh, now, the United States has 34 divisions. I've got 51 available here in the Canadian front. That's not even counting these ones that I have in reserves down here in uh, kind of the Jamaica, Central America region. Uh, so we could, we could get some interesting things happening here. Has everybody got a frontline order? It looks like it. Yeah, nobody is on this border, so I might be able to wash, uh, rush down to Washington pretty darn fast. See, it looks like it might be a bit of a stalemate down here in Germany. All right, so the jewel divisions. Let's take this time to spend some experience on making them bigger. These are going to be my big, huge 40 width, just cinder blocks. They will be as tough as diamonds, tough as jewels. All right, remove that. There we go. Now, how bad is this? What is this going to do to my infantry equipment? I'll need an additional 6,000, of which I have none. Uh, so that's okay, because we'll just delete these, and it should all wash out in the end, right? Okay, cool. No problem. All right, more free civilian factories available. Uh, let's make a switch back now towards the military stuff. Um, but where? I'm thinking... Maybe here? No. Um, right here? Let's do that, and here. Actually, let's, let's do that first. Yep, that looks good. Good, 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 good. Real good. All right. All right, uh, it's only 1939. Uh, we It's a little bit too early to take that. As far as the armor's concerned, we're only 27% finished. Uh, these are all too far ahead of time. Having some Marines would be nice. Uh, yeah, I probably should actually research my own Marines. Let's knock this out pretty quick here uh, so I can have better special forces and whatnot. All right, yeah, we can't. We, we're actually having some issues uh, getting a breakthrough here. Uh, I think these are ready. Let's go after Mysore. It's fine. Even if we're just maintaining a front line, they're still taking casualties the way I figure it. So it's not a big deal. All right, Alaskan territories. And then in seven days we can attack the United States. 
So it will be in the next episode. Let's uh, let's wait to see what the event does. The you okay? Good. I'm glad I'm waiting because it looks like I can go to war with them without it. The American government has once again shown its complete ignorance of the military situation surrounding its nation, this time by refusing our quite reasonable demand to hand over their Alaskan territories to the Dominion of Canada. Our government and people are of one mind. The Americans must be punished for refusing our demands. So if we back down, it would be 100 political power. So, okay, that's, a, I think, a pretty great place to stop it. In the next episode, we will, of course, be attacking the United States of America. It shouldn't be too uh, difficult, and we are, at the very least, going to uh, create a new 13 colonies, perhaps more. It's my understanding they, uh, they've they uh, set up some sort of administrative system where if we defeat them, we'll have 48 colonies. Isn't that so nice of them? Thank you, Huey Long. Uh, anyway, um, wait, no, was Alaska a state yet? 49. 49 um, colonies. A lot of colonies. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know that I am. And in the next one, we will, uh, yeah, take back our colonies. See you then. Bye.